टू वी वन वेलकम बैक इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम बैक विद वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेरी एंड दिस क्वेरी बेसिकली वॉज आस्क इन वन ऑफ द डेटा एनालिस्ट इंटरव्यू सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वेरी लाइक आई हैव कस्टमर ट्रांजेक्शन टेबल एंड इन दिस आई हैव डेटा कस्टमर आई डी ट्रांजेक्शन डेट एंड ट्रांजेक्शन अमाउंट सो इन दिस वट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट कस्टमर आई डी ट्रांजेक्शन डेट एट विच द क्यूमुलेटिव ट्रांजेक्शन बिकम्स मोर देन यूर इक्वल टू टू थाउजेंड so basically what we need to find out we have to find out customer id transaction date and at which transaction date cumulative amount becomes more than or equal to 2000 so how we will approach this query we have uh, so for this we have to use window function and which window function we will use you will use sum window function for cumulative transactions so basically cumulative uh, is a running total sum so let's uh, so before starting this uh, query uh, i will suggest uh, take a pause and try it once so uh, i hope you have given it try so uh, let's start with this query select star from transaction from customer transaction so here we will use window function sum over so i will do partitioning uh, by customer id and then order by customer id and then on the basis of transaction date so here i will use partition partition by customer id order by customer id and transaction date as cumulative amount from this table so at which we are doing uh, some we are doing some on transaction amount so here i will mention transaction amount if i run this query so what will be the output so this this is the output like here is the cumulative amount so basically uh, what uh, like uh, this is the partitioning customer id wise like uh, here uh, all the data of the customer id 101 and then 102 and 103 so basically what we did here we have we did here uh, windowing that's why uh, it's uh, these function are called window function basically we we do windowing so that we can uh, pass the data accordingly so here you can see uh, like customer id 101 transaction amount is 500 then cumulative amount is 500 and for second like is here is uh, amount is 400 so but uh, cumulative amount is 3100 so why this because these two date is same so it will add it will consider it will add both amount into the previous one so that's why the both value same and after after that you can see like when uh, customer id changed it start it started recalculating so here you can see transaction amount is 1600 and cumulative amount is 1600 and after that for customer id 103 it started to re recalculating again so like you where here you can see uh, transaction amount is 200 and then here cumulative amount is 200 and after that it add current value to the previous value so here basically cumulative amount is uh, running total to running total sum so i hope it's clear to you so now what we'll do i will put this statement into the with clause with i will mention name part 1 as now i will select all data from part 1 so this is the be best way to write the to this is the best way to fetch all the column from the uh, previous one so here i will use column name dot star from 
this table from this table where where cumulative amount greater than equals to 2000 so if i run this query then see the result so here you can see uh, it gave me all the customer id uh, all the customer id uh, which having cumulative amount greater than 2000 but in this query what is uh, asked like in this query it's saying we have to find transaction date at which the cumulative transaction becomes more than or equal to 2000 so like we have to find like at which date cumulative accounts becomes more than or equal to 2000 so for this what we have to do we have to uh, we have to do here row number so here i will use window function row number row number over i will do partitioning uh, by customer id partition by customer id order by order by i will do order by on cumulative amount order by on cumulative amount as rank so if i run this query then see the result so now you can see it gave me rank according to customer id so like it uh, here uh, here also it did uh, windowing like for customer id its rank is one customer id 101 for customer id 101 rank is 1 for customer id uh, rank is 1 2 3 4 and when customer id changed it's again started giving rank from 1 and 2 so like we have to find out like at which transaction date cumulative transaction becomes more than equal to so now you can see like this is the transaction date at which cumulative cumulative transaction becomes more than equal to 2000 so here is the rank 1 and here is the and this is the date and this is the customer id where cumulative amount becomes more than equal to 2000 so here i will do i will give name part 2 as select select customer id transaction date and cumulative amount we need only these column from part 2 where rank equals to 1 So this is the output like this is the output customer id 101 103 where cumulative account becomes more than equal to 2000 so i hope it's clear to you and uh, thank you so much for watching and if my video helping you in a bit so please do consider like share and subscribe thanks for watching bye bye